What did I miss? Brian here, and it's very cloudy out. Today I've got another mod for my 2006 Forerunner. Yes, I'm still driving it. I still have it. I didn't sell it and I didn't crash it. And today I am going to be adding a center console safe. So it's no doubt that crime in the US is constantly getting worse, especially in Houston, Texas. Now the things I've been hearing constantly are road rage, catalytic converter thefts, and car break-ins. I've seen a handful of car break-ins, well, at least the aftermath of it. A couple of my friends have been victims and even I've been a victim myself. And I will admit, having an open hole on your driver's side window sucks. Now at that time, I didn't have anything valuable, nothing got stolen, but it's just the fact that I came to a busted window and all the compartments were open and it felt like my personal space got violated. But in the event where I'm out somewhere, I have something valuable and I need to hide it, that is there to protect it and deter any thieves. So here it is, this is the center console safe or vault, whatever you want to call it, and the brand is literally called Console Vault. They make these for all sorts of vehicles, not just the 4th gen 4Runners. They even make them for the 5th gen 4Runners, Toyota Tundras, Ford, Chevy, Ram, Dodge, etc, etc. They have four different types of locks. They have the key lock, three digit lock, four digit lock, and the four digit elite lock. Obviously, this one is a three digit lock. Turning it this way, you'll see the side is covered up. But then when you turn to the front, you'll see there is a giant open hole. The reason for this is because in the center console of the 4th gen 4Runners, there's this little section that takes up some of the space inside. And at the top, there'll be a coin holder. We're going to remove all of that and I'll show you in a bit. Turning it this way, that's what that side looks like. And if you look at the lock on the top, you'll notice that the combination is all zeros. From the factory, they make it like this so that you could change the combination yourself. And to open it, since it's on all zeros, it's gonna open. You turn it clockwise and lift the handle. On the inside, you'll notice there's a piece of foam and when you lift it, there are two holes where the bolts go. Then looking at the piece of foam, I'm surprised it came in a square instead of that section cut out just like inside the safe. Uh, kind of wish they cut it, but it's not too big of a deal. Along with the center console safe, you also get two 10 millimeter bolts and an instruction manual telling you how to install it as well as how to set the combination. Now before installing it, let's go over all the tools needed. For the tools, we don't need much. All we're going to need are a Sharpie, a pair of scissors, a socket wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, and an extension. Actually, no, a big extension. Other than that, that's all we need. And so without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing we're going to do is cut the foam. Next, we're gonna go into the driver's seat and then we're going to switch over to the GoPro. Next, we're going to open up the center console. I went ahead and cleared mine, but if you have anything in yours, you should go ahead and take everything out. And we're also going to remove the coin holder, like I mentioned. The safe is going to take up this area, so the coin holder has to go. After that, we're going to clean the inside of the center console. This next step is optional. You don't necessarily have to do it. It's just my personal preference. And to do that, I'm going to use Adams Polish's interior detailer as well as a microfiber towel. It's not perfect, but it'll do. And if you're wondering, this is that section I was talking about that takes up some of the interior space. Next, we're going to remove the two bolts inside the center console. These are the two bolts. Up to you if you like to keep them or toss them. Personally for me, I'm going to keep them. Now we're going to install the center console safe. There we go. Make sure it's seated properly. Next, we're gonna take the two new bolts that came with the kit and drop them in.
you know, looking at it, I might consider getting washers, but for now, I'm okay. Last thing we need to do is add the piece of foam at the bottom, and that goes in like so. And just like that, we are done. And just like that, we are done. Very short and simple installation, doesn't take very long, and it's one of those mods that makes it look like it's factory fresh, like it came from the factory like this, even though it didn't. It's still on all zeros. I haven't set the combination yet, mainly for the sake of this video, but also I'm keeping the code confidential. But as I stated from the factory, they set it on all zeros so that you could open it like so. And that is what the inside looks like. The amount of space in here is okay-ish, a little smaller than I thought, and it mainly has to do with that section that takes up some of the interior space. If it wasn't there, I have a little more open space, but it is what it is. This is good for hiding small items like watches, any kind of jewelry like earrings, necklaces, rings, bracelets, wallets, and even handguns. I got my Gen 5 Glock 19 with the TLR1 flashlight, and it fits in here just fine. I just have to orient it in a way so that I could close the safe. Now, going a little bit into handguns, this will work best for compact and subcompact handguns, the ones where you could conceal carry. For full-size handguns, they can be a hit or miss depending on the make and model. Now, if you have a full-size handgun and it fits in here, hey, more power to you. Now, why did I go with a three-digit lock instead of like a key lock or a four-digit lock? Well, I got a lot of reasons why, but I will only list a few. For one, the key lock looks very tacky and it looks like someone can easily break into it. Two, the four digit lock, sure, there's an extra number for more security, but if there's anything I know, seconds matter. In the event where I need to draw out my firearm or hide something very quickly, I would have to work with four numbers instead of three numbers. With this one, I only have three numbers to work with. I can roll it very quickly, open the safe, and hide whatever I need to or draw out my firearm. And plus, it was an extra $35 to add a fourth number on the lock, and I wasn't willing to pay that extra money, so that's why I resorted to the three-digit lock. And so, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're subscribed, thanks. If you're not, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Take care, everyone. I will catch you on the flip side.